Welcome to Statistics Made Easy. In this session, we're going to implement a mediation model in Stata. You will need Stata 18 or higher to run the commands that I have here because they were added in that version only. To begin with, let's open our multivariate statistics do file and start by loading our data sets. I first of all set my directory and then open the ice cream data. The mediation model starts a little further at the bottom of the script after the moderation model. Here we are. And before we run this command, I'd like to walk you through the different options we have here in this command. The baseline command is mediate, followed by the dependent variable in parentheses. In our case, we want to estimate ice cream consumption. And I can also specify my control variables, like the temperature or the location of my ice cream parlor. And you also see this option here, linear, which means that I'm estimating a linear regression model for my dependent variable because ice cream consumption is a linear variable and it is a good fit. Alternatively, you could also use, for example, a logic regression if your outcome variable is binary. The logic is very similar for my mediator, so basically our second regression. Income is my mediator because I expect that ice cream consumption is mediated by the income. And again, I use a linear model because income is a linear continuous uh, model. And then I have my main explanatory variable, which is whether my customer is a child or an adult. And here, because that is my explanatory variable, I don't need to specify any model because that is my main explanation. As you see here, I also specified an option, the all option, which will provide more detailed results when I run the regression command. So let's start by running this command. And as you will see, the result here and the output is a little bit more complicated than in our previous regression commands. This is because we have multiple regressions that are estimated simultaneously with income being one of the dependent variables and also ice cream consumption being another. So as a result, you see all these different results here. So first of all, uh, let's look at what all these different abbreviations mean. And remember, I have a video on with more detailed explanations on all these different terms here. The PO means um, is the first part that you see in the output. I'm going to highlight two here. The YOMO, this, is, uh, this represents the potential outcome mean when both the independent variable and the mediator are at their baseline or reference level zero. It is the expected outcome if the independent variable and the mediator did not occur or were not present. The other extreme, Y1, M1, is the potential outcome mean when both the independent variable and the mediator are both at the level of interest one. It is the expected outcome if both the independent variable and the mediator occurred. And accordingly, you have uh, the Y1, M0, and the Y0, M1 option, which are then the other two combinations that you have. Next, we have our natural indirect effect. Um, the natural indirect effect, uh, the NIE, is the part of the effect that happens through a specific mediator. In this case, this effect is not statistically significant given the relatively high p-value. Then we have our natural direct effect. This is the effect that goes directly from the independent variable to the outcome without passing, passing through the mediator. We have the pure natural indirect effect. This is the indirect effect that would occur if the direct path didn't exist and the total natural direct effect. So this is the direct effect that would be observed if the indirect paths through the mediator were blocked. And finally, the total effect, with, which is the combined effect of both the indirect and the direct paths. The last three, they are statistically significant. So we have a PNIE that is significant and a TNDE and a TE that are all statistically significant. And for your interpretation, now it depends what you're uh, trying to uh, show in your mediation model. If you're interested in a partial mediation where there is a direct effect from your independent variable to your outcome, as well as a mediation through income, for example, 
or if it is a full mediation where there's a substitution effect between um, the direct effect children on ice cream and that indirect pathway through the income. What I would also like to show you is one post estimation command, which is uh, implemented using the s.cde. CDE is the co uh, controlled direct effect in this case. So um, in this case, we have the potential outcome for each treatment level uh, that are evaluated at set values of the mediator. In my case, I'm choosing for my mediator the levels 50 euros, 500 euros, and 5,000 euros to see how that would influence the controlled direct effect. But you can essentially set any value you like depending on the distribution, for example, of your variables or uh, cutoff points that may be interesting. So in my case, for instance, it might make sense to distinguish between uh, children with pocket money and then adults and different income groups, for example, and then estimate the controlled direct effect. So this was a brief introduction to mediation models in Stata. There's also a lot of documentation provided by Stata on the mediation model and examples. So I encourage you to watch those as well. But I hope the short, brief, uh, hands-on intro was helpful for, to, for you to get started. Thanks for watching.